This is a review of Gettysburg Comfort Inn and Suites, room 217. So, decided to stay here. We've stayed at this hotel before, but never in this particular room. Uh, we've normally stayed in the rooms that have the hot tub in them. You can look over there for a review of that. So, 217, uh, it's kind of last minute. They're booked up really good. So, what I'm gonna say is, the first thing that I notice about this room is its proximity to the elevator and the main foyer. So, I'm pointing. Right through this door, across the hall, is where the elevator is. Over here, just past this wall, is where the foyer is. So you get to hear everybody out in the open there. Now, we've only just gotten here, and I will be here for a couple of days, so we'll see how that actually goes with the uh, noise levels. But let's take a look at the actual room itself. So we're gonna come over here, directly to the left of the door when you're facing it, is the bathroom. Yeah, it's your standard bathroom. Nice toilet, big sink area, nice mirror now i will say the lighting in here is a little dim compared to other places that we've been you may hear a humming in the background that's actually the over here the exhaust fan which uh, turns on with that light so turn that light on you're getting the exhaust fan here accoutrement so you get your complimentary soaps and everything uh, here's your little mr coffee maker and a hair dryer now we're gonna swing around over this way so we can actually see the shower so this is a shower enclosure this is a shower tub not a shower enclosure uh, the walls here as i have stated in some of the other reviews i like to kind of tap on them and these are like a legit like not bath there this feels like it's actually stone and for those that like that kind of thing there is your shower head and we're just going to slowly kind of pan down give you an idea what you're dealing with here and then rotate and across now you, you can kind of get an idea of how dark it feels in here just with the lights it's it's really weird i've never never seen a bathroom that was this dark with all the lights turned on because those are both the lights that you have and they're both on right now so we're gonna come out here into the main living area you've got your desk area with a fairly comfortable chair you've got your cat cables up there so if you need to hard line you can uh, desk area does have this which pulls out currently have two bags residing on that a lamp with extra power outlets box with extra power outlets and usbs uh, again down over there is another power outlet so that's pretty good you're not going to be hurting for power uh, here you have a couch which does fold out into a sleeper don't know how comfortable that is not going to be testing that little coffee table right there you've got another standing lamp and here you've got your two bedside lamps. So you've got your clock and each lamp has its own power supply and a telephone right there. So this particular room does have a king size bed, which does look rather nice with the big headboard there and coming across the other nightstand again with its own power supply. Now over here, we've got our air conditioner, which does allow you to have the fan on constantly. So if you like to have a little extra noise while you're sleeping, that'll help you out. Hopefully it's not needed with its location, like I said, to the elevator. Speaking of location, if you're wondering does your room overlook the cemetery? Because there are several rooms here that do overlook the cemetery. They're all in the back. You are in the front, so you get this view of the parking lot and uh, the Pike restaurant down there, which is supposed to be really good. I'm gonna be trying that out for the first time. Now, coming over here to the left of the windows, we've got our closet. And in our closet, we do have a little safe, which I'm actually gonna say is bigger uh, than a lot of the other saves that I've seen in other locations. So that's a very gracious safe, we'll call it. So ironing board and iron, extra linens, hangers, and that's it for here. So we're gonna come over here, standard big screen, flat screen TV, little microwave in here is your mini fridge. I'm gonna call it like college size fridge. It's a little bigger than a mini, mini fridge. And then that circles back to the desk area. That's just kind of the, the starter look. We're gonna be staying here for several days, so we'll get an idea of how things are and report back after we've stayed here. You know, things that we liked and things that we didn't like. 
All right, so as promised, this is a wrap up of room 217. Uh, pardon the mess, this is the last day, so we are cleaning up. Uh, so let's talk. Bathroom, no real issues, just like I said, the lights in here were really dull. And I think that might be partially due to they are going through a transition process. The light over there versus the light there. Uh, the far light is actually an LED bulb, while this one is a CFL, so that's a cool white LED and that's a soft white CFL. Uh, I think they're going through a transition, so hopefully they'll change those out with LEDs. Uh, the bed itself was really comfortable, didn't have any complaints. Uh, for the most part, the room was quiet enough. You know, you don't hear your neighbors all that much. Now, I know that I mentioned out this door is the ice maker. Actually, in fact, ice maker, hallway, and elevator. So the question was, how loud are those? Well, elevator, you really don't hear the ding dong all that much, especially since the air conditioner unit, you can have the fan on all the time. You will hear people talking if they are loud, but that's anywhere. The ice maker, you will hear period, no matter where you, you know, what you do, you will hear that because it's just the proximity to you and the ice maker itself. Obviously you can see over there, I kinda had an early morning meeting, which is, just the way it is sometimes. The ethernet port over there that I talked about does not work. Uh, so it's Wi-Fi only here, hate to say it. So we covered ice maker, we covered the elevator. Uh, under the door there, you do have a gap so you will get some light in here. Something that I did not think about was because this actually faces the front of the hotel, you do get loading noises and we are far enough away from the main thoroughfare there uh, that you don't hear anything really except for large semi trucks which do come through here now the one thing that i want you to be aware of and let's see if we can get it from here if we point this down that's a spotlight that points up at the hotel to make it pretty uh those are pointed at your room so make sure you kind of like do what you have to do with the curtains here they do a pretty decent job but they do let a little light in but aside from that, you know, those few little quibbles, uh, the stay here was actually really good. We, we, this is the first time we've stayed in this particular style room. Normally we get the room with the hot tub because uh, we stay for shorter periods of time. This time we're taking a week's vacation and this is only one of the stops. So no hot tub in this one because, you know, got to spread that money around. Um, didn't use the pullout couch, so I can't tell you how comfortable that is. But everything else was perfectly fine. So if you're looking for a reasonably uh, cheap room at Gettysburg, we're just outside Gettysburg, so Pike Restaurant there. If you go up the street that way, you actually will be up the street that way. You will be probably like a two minute walk from the Jenny Wade house. So you are reasonably close to the center of town. So if you don't mind walking or if you just move your car up there and park in Jenny Wade, you'll be all right. So all in all, good hotel room for the price. That's really all I can say. So. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.